Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video that I love to watch and I hope you like to watch too. We are going to be going through what is in my teacher bag. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So let me show you first my bag. I have a teacher tote and this teacher tote is its own brand. I'll link it in the description below but these bags are a little pricey but I do think that they are worth it the outside is made of this waterproof material all the way around and they've got these really nice secure handles here so I'm gonna show you what's inside and then I'll show you a little bit more about the bag so the very first thing that I have to have in my bag is not in my bag <laughs> it is my laptop this laptop comes with me everywhere I go through teaching through lesson planning through creating everything is this laptop and I am super grateful to have it and it comes in handy for a lot of things the second thing that is in my bag at all times is my planner so I have two planners at the moment and I don't know how I'm gonna function with both of them for student teaching, but I will be coming out with some kind of planner video down the line, so be on the lookout for that. But my first planner is my passion planner. I am a passion planner ambassador, and that means that I just love the product and I have been using it for years, and this passion planner saves my life so many times. So if you want a passion planner, let me know. And the second planner I have, I actually got for free and the brand is schoolgirl style and it says wake up teach kids be awesome and i got this for free and i think they're still doing it so you just insert your email and you get it for free but in this planner they have all of the um subjects for the day so i will definitely be using this in some way during student teaching and whether that be online or face to face who knows but I am excited to have both of these planners because I am a very organized person and I need to have all of my thoughts on paper. The third thing that I have to have in my bag at all times is some form of water bottle. So this water bottle is one that I have to fill up. It is empty right now, but I cannot go to school, cannot do anything without my water. If there was one thing that I absolutely had to have during the day, it would be water. And I have never forgotten my water bottle because it's just a necessity in my life. The fourth thing that I always have in my teacher bag is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is self-explanatory. Kiddos, snot, younger children, you need hand sanitizer. The next thing that is always in my teacher bag is my pencil case. I have this cute one from Etsy and it says teaching with flair. I always use flare pens so it is appropriate and in here I keep some tape, I keep a bunch of highlighters, I keep a bunch of post-it notes as well. I love my post-it notes, big and small. I keep pens in here. I keep white out in here. I keep a flash drive that no one really uses anymore, but I have it just in case. And that's about it. I have some random clips, you know, that gets in the bottom of your pencil case and you never really clean out. The other thing that I always keep in my bag is just a personal self-care kit. And I have in here um, some gum. And this is kind of interesting because I have not cleaned this out since I came home from school. So it should be fun. I have some Tums. I have some lotion, uh, some more lotion. <laughs> I have chapstick. This is also a necessity, especially in the winter for obvious reasons, but get yourself some chapstick. And I have some random uh, stuck on glued uh, cough drops in here but they'll still work some more cough drops some more chopstick and a couple band-aids but these are helpful for who knows kids you blisters flats anything you might need the last couple things i have in here are just a few um lanyards 
Um, it depends where I go and where what I ne I'm needed for, but I prefer these lanyards that just um, clip onto your hip and then they extend just so it's not like in your way. But the ones that are really long are also cute, so I don't know, we'll see. But I keep some of these in here just in case I have to hold a few things. So that's pretty much what's in my bag. Now let me show you the bag itself. So here is a closer look at the bag. Um, I showed you these handles. They're very wide, which is awesome for carrying over your shoulder. And then this front pocket is just for a phone or keys, whatever you want, but it's very deep. And then on the side, I just have this cute keychain that my best friend Alexis gave me. I'll link her Instagram in the description below. And she also helped me with my channel logo. And then I just have hand sanitizer. On the inside, this first pocket has a bunch of smaller pockets and it also has like a little divider so a lot of times I'll put folders in here and then just other stuff on the outside um, lipstick in here tissues things like that the middle is actually a laptop holder and it's padded so every time my laptop goes in there and then on this side it actually has a insulated lunchbox container so I will put refrigerated snacks or drinks in here and then I'll just carry a separate lunchbox. And then it has a really big pocket over here for my post-it notes or whatever else. But this bag can expand a lot and hold a ton of stuff. So that is the closer look and I definitely think that it is worth the money. That is all I have for today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like and I will see you in my next video. Stay kind everyone.